You're only doing this to me because I'm the lead of Funny Girl and you're just the lowly understudy. You want to make me feel bad because I'm better than you. Welcome to Watch Mojo. For this list, we're counting down our picks for the most scandalous feuds that much, if not most, of a TV show's cast had with one troublesome member. Spock's simply trying to- I know what he's trying to do and I don't like it. It's his job. Number 10, Andy Kaufman, Taxi. For five seasons, audiences fell in love with Andy Kaufman as oddball immigrant Latka Gravis. For the taxi cast, though, it was a difficult five seasons. Lesson 12. Mm. Thank you, chambermaid, for your excellent service. Kaufman was infamous for his obnoxious pranks and method acting. An on-set incident with his troublemaking alter ego Tony Clifton is the stuff of legend. But Kaufman had also negotiated a contract that allowed him to come to the set only two days a week. This was a massive hurdle in rehearsals. They teach me new words and lots of songs and we all have a good time. The frustration was mutual, as Kaufman always resented relinquishing the rights to his foreign man stock character. Taxi alumni are happy to praise Kaufman's one-of-a-kind comedic talents. His professionalism, on the other hand, wasn't much to be thankful for. Do you have the correct time? My watch stopped. The correct time is you're eight minutes late. Number nine, Janet Hubert, the Fresh Prince of Bel Air. The Banks family always came together after all their hilarious conflicts. Unfortunately, the Fresh Prince family couldn't totally survive the notorious conflict between breakout stars Will Smith and Janet Hubert. Surprise! Smith's accusations that his more experienced co-star had become jealous and domineering technically resulted in her dismissal after season three. But on occasion, Alfonso Ribeiro revealed that Hubert created a hostile work environment for everyone on the set. He enjoyed a more civil working relationship with Daphne Maxwell Reed as his TV mom for the remaining three seasons. You know, Miss Banks, since you had that baby, there's something different about you. <laughs> Smith and Hubert eventually made amends on camera for HBO Max's Fresh Prince reunion special. I just stopped talking to everybody because I didn't know who to trust because I had been banished. And they said it was you who, who banished me. The fact remains that Hubert's career never fully recovered from both quiet and formal complaints about her behavior. They said, you've got two months and two weeks of work and you cannot work anywhere else. Mm -hmm. So that meant my salary was cut. Number eight, Balthazar Getty, Brothers and Sisters. Domestic issues can be a strain on friends and family, including TV friends and family. During the height of his popularity as the star of the family drama Brothers and Sisters, Balthazar Getty made gossip headlines for an extramarital affair. We all have issues. For instance, I have a hard time accepting how handsome I am. His wife, Rosetta Millington, had grown close with his castmates. It was thus speculated that the pressure this scandal brought to the show led to Getty being demoted to guest appearances. The truth is that this was a long time coming. You're the only one with the authority to fix this. You have to own that. Getty had become hostile and difficult, partly because of substance use. He has since gotten clean and reconciled with Millington. As for his brothers and sisters' family, they didn't have the chance to get over the scandal. We used to be something. And I, I don't know what's happened. Number seven, Heidi Swedberg, Seinfeld. George Costanza spent Seinfeld's seventh season trying to get out of his engagement to Susan Ross. This was actually art imitating life. If you don't want to marry me, George, just say so. Just say so. Hold on, hold on, I'm still marry, still marry. Susan's actress, Heidi Swedberg, failed to develop chemistry with the cast. Her style just didn't click with the other actors. Showrunner Larry David ultimately solved George and the cast's problem by having Susan lick too many wedding invitation envelopes. A sitcom killing someone off with poison obviously sparked controversy, even if it was truer to this particular sitcom's humor than Swedberg. So, 
she's dead. <laughs> yes. Huh. David and company have since expressed remorse for such a mean-spirited vendetta. They assert that Swedberg was a great person to get along with, just not to perform with. Whatever I was trying to get going in a scene, I always felt like I was punching into jello. I couldn't get the right responses back. Number six, Patrick Dempsey, Grey's Anatomy. The set of Grey's Anatomy has seen as much drama as the show's hospital setting. I can feel a pulse in your wrist. You know what that means? What? It means your heart's still beating. Reports of tension seemed to decline after Derek Shepard's shocking death in the season 11 finale. Actor Patrick Dempsey claimed that his exit was a civil decision between himself and showrunner Shonda Rhimes. But later reports revealed that Dempsey terrorized his colleagues, taking advantage of his star power on the show. Just leave me alone. I just want to make sure you're all right. No, I'm not all right. Okay? Are you satisfied? Isaiah Washington even alleges that his part in the 2006 fight that got him fired was exaggerated to protect Dempsey. Despite Dempsey denying claims of impropriety, Dr. Shepard's death nearly a decade later may have suggested that enough was enough. Even then, McDreamy did return for some dream sequences in season 17. Number 5. Leah Michelle, Glee The musical dramedy Glee always tried to make everyone feel included, but by many accounts, star Leah Michelle didn't live up to that principle. I cannot believe you did this. We sat down, we made rules. The public only got a hint of this in 2014, when her feud with Naya Rivera led to the latter being written out of the show. Rachel Berry is the most horrible human being on the planet. What? Can it troll? Santana. But after Michelle voiced support for Black Lives Matter in 2020, other cast members revealed that things went much deeper. Samantha Ware accused Michelle of opportunism and a history of sometimes racial hostility. Other former colleagues affirmed these claims. We might be mortal show choir enemies, but I'm a woman before all of that, and I figure you're fighting this fight for all of us girls." Michelle says that she has tried to turn herself around and make amends. Whether that's truly coming from the soul, Michelle clearly didn't harmonize with everyone on Glee. Number 4. William Shatner, Star Trek The Original Series the charismatic Captain Kirk is recognized as one of the great leaders on the frontier of television. Fans are reluctant to admit that William Shatner's own personality didn't command nearly as much respect. There'll be no discussion of this with the crew. Thank you. His petty narcissism made him such a challenge on the show that Martin Luther King Jr. had to convince Nichelle Nichols to not quit. Lieutenant Uhura. Healing frequency still open, sir. I get no message. Yes, even Kirk and Spock's iconic friendship is darkened by Shatner's aggressive jealousy toward Leonard Nimoy. Aren't you getting a little out of line, Mr. Spock? My personal business. It's my personal business when it might interfere with the smooth operation of this ship. You think that happened? Despite multiple attempts and public appearances, the actors never completely reconciled. To this day, George Takei openly challenges his co-star's signature ego. Try to cross brains with Spock. I cut you to pieces every time. It may have won Shatner fans for generations to come, but it didn't win any on the set of the original Star Trek. It's been my experience that the prejudices people feel about each other disappear when they get to know each other. It's not in my experience. Number three, Terry Hatcher, Desperate Housewives. With all of the cutthroat drama on Wisteria Lane, Susan Mayer was considered the heart of Desperate Housewives. That ironically wasn't the case with Terry Hatcher on the production, who was considered a true diva. And when she comes back here, I'm gonna shove this pitcher in her perky little mug, and when she's not make a scene. Nicolette Sheridan reportedly preferred to call her, quote, the meanest woman in the world. Keep in mind that Sheridan herself was written off the show over her own feud with creator Mark Cherry. The highly paid Hatcher was known to be dominating with cast and crew, and closed herself off from her workmates. Yeah. Sometimes people pretend to be one way on the outside when they're totally different on the inside. Where most of the Desperate Housewives ensemble became closer friends than the spicy soap opera would suggest, Hatcher's career-damaging reputation is said to be even spicier. Say you're sorry! Oh, let me go! Say it! Number 2. Chevy Chase, Community 
Chevy Chase was known by audiences as one of the most popular comedians of his time, and within Hollywood as one of the most difficult. And I want to look him straight in the eye, and I want to tell him what a cheap, lying, no good, rotten. His character of the rude and crude Pierce Hawthorne on the sitcom Community was considered too perfectly cast. Chase harassed everyone, exploded into tantrums, and even walked off the set over creative disagreements. No, he's just acting out. I've seen this behavior before. In cats. My, my cats. This culminated in Hawthorne being written off after Chase casually utilized racial slurs. His defense that Richard Pryor once gave him permission doesn't wash. Can you believe that? I can't, uh, but you can, so that's fine. With his career once again strained by a bad reputation, Chase recognizes that he's hurt people. He just doesn't care. Uh, I'm who I am, and I like who I am. I don't care. There may be something endearing about that, but not if you're not working with the man. Before we continue, be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. You have the option to be notified for occasional videos or all of them. If you're on your phone, make sure you go into your settings and switch on notifications. Number 1. Shannon Doherty, Beverly Hills 90210 once an icon of teen TV, Shannon Doherty is now known for embodying the term difficult to work with. Nobody knows me here. I could be anybody. She thrilled audiences as shy new girl Brenda on Beverly Hills 90210, but in reality, Doherty wasn't shy about butting heads with cast and crew. She also had a tendency to be tardy. Brenda, don't take that tone with us. Right now, I will take any tone I damn well please. Brenda? It was ultimately Tori Spelling, one of Doherty's few friends on set, who pulled strings to have Brenda leave California in season four. Meanwhile, Doherty fell into old habits when she moved to the fantasy drama Charmed. Excuse me, Phoebe, but I'm not exactly in a homeopathic mood right now. Despite the show's massive success, the lead actress's behavior supposedly got her fired after three seasons. A more mature Doherty has since been welcomed back to 90210. Sadly, she may never live down her troubling 20s. I care about you. I am so sick and tired of everybody telling me how to live my life. It's my life, Dylan. I will live it how I want to. Do you want to know more about actors souring their work environment? Join the ensemble in the comments. I'm done with you guys. I like the school, but I'm done with whatever you call this. Did you enjoy this video? Check out these other clips from Watch Mojo and be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.